everyone and welcome to our final lesson which is lesson three of week one term four where we are looking at sharing equally. So before we get started let's take a look at our mass warm-up activities and you can use a whiteboard and a marker or a piece of paper and a pencil. Now what I have here for you is some mental mass which means that you need to try and complete these questions as quick as you can, making sure they are correct and using different strategies. What are some quick strategies? Now I know the counting on strategy is great or sometimes if you need a bit of help, you might like to draw a picture, you can use your fingers. So I would like you to pause the video and then come back and we'll solve them together. Okay, so you've got 10 questions, you've got five addition questions and five subtraction questions. All right, so let's take a look at the answers. Now, you're only looking now if you've completed them on a piece of paper. All right, so our first one was 10 plus 5 and that equals 15. And the strategy that I always love to use is counting on because I think that that one is the quickest. So I'm going to put 10 in my head, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Our next problem was 2 plus 2. And if you know your doubles, we just know that that is 4 because 2 and 2 is 4. 3, 23 plus 7 equals 30. So let's put that big number in our head. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. So I've added 7 and it equals 30. 30 plus 5 equals 35. So I'm going to put 30 in my head and count on 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 and 35. Question five was eight plus four, and that equals 12. So again, eight in our heads, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, we have 12. Now question six was seven take away two, and that equals five, and we can use the counting back strategy. So you put seven in your head, seven, six, five. So I've taken away two and we know that with subtraction and taking away, our number is always going to be smaller. Okay, so we're going backwards. So seven take away two is five. Question seven was 11 take away four. So again, let's put 11 in our head and count back four. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. And we landed on seven. Question eight was 19 take away 5 equals 14. So again, put that bigger number in our head, 19, and we're going to count back 5. So 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, and 14. All right, question 9, 6 take away 3 equals 3. So 6, 5, 4, 3. And our last one, question 10 was, 28 take away 4 is 24. So again, let's put that big number in our head. 28, 27, 26, 25 and 24. Well done, everyone. Okay, so let's look at our learning intention and success criteria. Our learning intention is that we are learning to share a collection of objects. Our success criteria is that I can share a group of objects to solve problems. Sharing a collection of objects. So what you need to do now is watch our video on sharing a collection of objects using teddy bears. So you need to watch carefully and listen really carefully as well. Let's take a look. So what we're going to do here is share 12 bears amongst three groups. So I'm going to draw my groups, one, two, three, and then I'm going to count out my 12 bears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, and 12. So I have 12 bears and three groups. And I need to share these equally. So you can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And what you can see is I have four bears in each group and they are equal. Now it's your turn. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our demonstration video because this is what you will be doing today using things around your house. So what you will need to do is complete the following problems using different materials. You could use pasta, counters, Lego, rocks, or anything small that you have in your house. Now remember to count out each object and share them equally. And then think about how many are in each group and are they equal? All right, so let's take a look at the problems that you will be solving today. Okay, so you will need to share 14 between two, share 18 between three, share eight between four, share 20 between five, and then lastly, share 30 between six. So you might like to draw your groups on a piece of paper or on a whiteboard and then use objects around your house or materials to help you solve these problems. We can't wait to see what you have used and what you have come up with. And then post a photo on our week one completed work doc. Okay, so let's quickly go over our learning intention and success criteria, hoping that you've completed the activity already. Um, our learning intention was that we are learning to share a collection of objects and our success criteria was that I can share a group of objects to solve problems. So here, remember you had um, your different questions and your different problems and you use these objects and materials from around your house to solve the problem. And you have done such a fantastic job this week and we are so proud of you. Well done everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.